Hi, I'm pretty excited about the Netduino I ordered yesterday uh, from Amazon for only $35 and so I haven't received it yet but I've been playing around with the uh, Visual Studio IDE and looking around for another emulator and I thought I'd share what I've been playing with. The built-in emulator actually uh, is not very useful for um, working with the Netduino because uh, let me just run it. Um, this is a sample app right here and all it is is basically set up some uh, output LED and then input button and then it reads the button and whatever the button state is it writes to the LED but the sample emulator <laughs> that comes with Visual Studio have no concept of button uh, the buttons or the LEDs and none of these work at all for our purpose so someone was kind enough to share his emulator, this guy right here, they, he puts it on CodePlex, so I downloaded it, and let me show you what it looked like. So let me build this, and then we need to actually choose that emulator. Instead of the Microsoft emulator, we choose his emulator, and then I will run the same app. And this time, we get a different emulator that actually show us where what the value of the switch and reflects it on the LED but since this is a checkbox I can't really hold it down and show it on and let really show it off because it's a checkbox so I start playing with it and I added some uh, some pictures <laughs> that I stole from one of the sites and let me show you what it looked like so if I rebuild this it actually rebuilds the emulator and actually I'm gonna go back to the, the same app and this app now is going to use the rebuilt emulator which is called the same thing and this is what it looked like now I put a little LED uh, rectangle there I put a power one there and the button is right here so when I press the button now it turns on when I release the button it turns off so that's what that is and eventually of course we want to put more inputs and outputs here but let me show you what uh, how I did that it's pretty simple the only tricky thing was that on this side the the button used to be a click uh, a checkbox click and when I turned it into a mouse left button down and mouse left button up it didn't work at all nothing seems to be happening and the key to the solution was this preview mouse left button instead of the mouse left button event and on the other, uh, here's the rectangle for the uh, LEDs. And on the other side, on the code side, it simply says, okay, here's the handlers for the down and the up. And in there, I call pretty much the same thing that uh, the original code does. The only difference I changed was I, uh, I no longer have the, those checkboxes. So I used the dispatcher that came from the window itself. I, it seems to work. I don't fully understand how it works, but it seemed to work. Um, the only other thing that is different, of course, is the LED itself. It's now just a rectangle, and I changed the fill based on the value. Either I put a bright yellow brush or a dimmer tan brush. I think that's pretty cool, and I'll keep playing with it and share more. Later. Bye-bye.